movie number four. Were Dinobots and Mark Wahlberg always on the agenda for you? No. <laughs> no. Uh, Dinobots, from the first movie on, we've been talking about uh, how do we put them into the series. And until we came up with this idea of the Age of Extinction, we couldn't find a good reason for it. But, sure. uh, you know, Ian got to work with Mark and, and Michael on a different picture. And yeah, we, start, we worked on Pain and Gain together. And I think in the, in the formulation of, you know, the early ideas about, about Transformers 4, you know, is where, you know, Mike and Mark started talking about mm -hmm. it and they, they're having a great time together making that movie. And I think somewhere in there is where the, the you know, the, the seed of that idea, you know, began to, to uh, germinate and, uh, and take some shape. And, at that, and then you can, you know, you can help, you know, uh, form a story around that idea of father-daughter and the Age of Extinction and the Dinobots. So they're separate, you know, it, would just, it just happened to be a good time for all of that to come together. So what were the biggest challenges you guys felt you faced to make it fresh but also feel familiar to the, to the audience? Well, I think changing the cast gave it a pretty yeah. dramatically fresh idea. Um, and I think shooting in China actually mm -hmm. was, uh, in a way, our, probably our biggest challenge because it was a brand new culture, it was brand new rules. Uh, we were trying to do things that they've never done in their country, you know. So uh, the result of that is we got a bigger scale, but the... Um, the uh, time, amount of time we spent on it, it was uh, pretty am amazing, you know, and, and now I think, you know, you see the benefit of recasting the whole movie. Absolutely. It just feels almost like a fresh movie again, you know, it's, which is pretty great. Yeah, the domestic, shooting domestically, people, cities and people that have been around our, our business are used to what Transformers is trying to do uh, in, in, in the United States. But when you take, you take that scale of action and, and logistics and everything and try to put them into a different city, as, as Lorenzo said, in the case of Hong Kong with narrow streets and a huge population that's very dense and compact. And we're, you know, 18 stories up in the air shooting action and, you know, blowing things up. And sure. People are not used to that. It takes an awful lot of, uh, of uh, collaboration with local authorities and everything. So that, as Lorenzo said, but that was the big challenge was shooting in Asia. Where would you guys like to see the franchise going? I mean, how can you get bigger and better than Dinobots? Well, you know, the great thing about working with Michael is he's always pushing the boundaries, you know, and so uh, no doubt we'll figure it out. But sure. we really don't spend much time thinking about the next one because the first, this one's so hard to make. Yeah. But, you know, that, we enjoy that, you know, and it's, that's the challenge of it is we don't want the audience to feel like, ah, oh, you know, that was good, but... I don't know, the other one was bigger and better and crazier, so we're going to push very hard to make it bigger and okay. better. Well, I really look forward to seeing where, where it goes, and congratulations on the film, guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. much.